Chris Evans said, I've talked to 50 customers in my target market, and here's the pain that they are having. Here's how our product addresses that pain. And here's how we're going to test with this group before we even have to build something with your money. And before we actually build something with your $100,000, we will know what to build because we've had 50 to 100 one-on-one -on -one conversations with the buyer in the market we're trying to attend. I want to hear from that entrepreneur all day, every day. I find my, every time I hear that, I want to know more. Who did you talk to? How did you talk to? How did you compile the information? But it is not pushing against their thesis because they took the hard work of investigating before building. The reason we as entrepreneurs have to pivot so much is we don't do our own work. I mean, I've been, like, we as entrepreneurs, does that make sense? Like, I understand because I've been there. We get this great idea, we go build, we think we've got the right team, so we go higher, higher, higher. And then, man, what's the toughest thing for an entrepreneur? Letting somebody go that they should not, shouldn't hire in the first place. Right? I mean, seriously, like, what are some of the self-inflicted things we do to ourselves? that reduce our chances of winning in the game of business. And what I found, back to the top of the first thing, is when I've gone it alone, I had to try to adjust and it cost me way more money. When I've had a strong business advisory with me from the beginning that would tell the truth to me whether I wanted to hear it or not, I made better decisions faster and I made more money. So back to diversity of thought when you're launching your business, I'm a big proponent of a business coach, a big proponent of a board of advisors, and you'll find very smart people that will do it for equity and won't cost you anything. If you can't find them, then your idea is not that great. That might hurt a little bit. But if you can't find anybody that will take equity for you chasing this dream, give you some advice over coffee once a month, then you got to rethink how powerful your idea is. The way that you utilize the board of advisors is to be a sounding board to things that you can hear in private so that you can take kind of that tussle of learning with some people that care enough about you that they'll be frank with you, but they're not talking to you in a way that's trying to tear you down, right? Or tear your self esteem bullets that you need to really grow a business. And so, one of the things in terms of diversity and impact is I think who do you listen to? And then once you select that strong advisory board, I would shrink. The other outside sources that I take input from until I get some launch. You can literally go crazy with what startup book to read, what startup function to go to, what you read on the internet, you mess around listening to Shark Tank, all this stuff. Right? And nobody can really advise you that's not intimate with what your goals are, what your tactics are, what your people are doing. There's got to be a connection at a deep enough level, right, that they can understand your thought process and you as an individual. My goal is not to be your best friend. My goal is to help you get to the finish line of what you want in that business. 